in this video we're gonna go over uh, some changes with this circuit again so this is the 555 timer wired in by stable mode there you can see we have two stable positions for the output depending on in this case what switch we hit whether we set it or reset it so by stable mode and uh, there's the pin layout I did a video of the step-by-step -step build of uh, this circuit uh, recently so I'll try to post that in the description but in any case let's zoom in again like last video we're gonna take a photo diode and use that to help control the circuit this time though we're gonna go to the reset pin and I'm gonna do something else so I actually removed the switch and uh, moved that uh, jumper over there inserted the photo diode in the last circuit in this circuit I'm just gonna put it parallel to the switch so we reverse bias it the long lead the anode goes to the negative rail the short lead I'm gonna go up two rows to the top of the switch there I could put it over here or over here does not matter it's going to be connected electrically the same so I had to bend uh, the pin a little bit and uh, there we go we are up there let's zoom in that might be a little hard to see but uh, there you can see where the uh, the leads are right there so now you can just see when I turned it to the light the output changed and since this is the reset pin the light is going to hold the output like that the reset pin is dominant over the trigger pin where we have our set button and if I cover the light though from hitting the photodiode now it will change back and stay back until we have a uh, light fall on it again and set it back so now we can either set it with light or uh, reset it I should say with uh, light to the photo diode or with the button we have two options so now let's do something else let's ground pin number two right there so we have a resistor going to the negative rail we could get rid of the switch and uh, the jumper there and just put this jumper to the positive rail but this will work too if we put a jumper right here to the positive rail and close the switch we'd have a direct connection from positive to negative and that would be a problem but we can even remove the switch now and uh, there we go so we reset it as you can see there and now it is bouncing back depending on whether there is light on there or not and that is because we are holding the negative voltage the zero volts I should say a low signal to uh, pin number two so the reset pin is stronger than the uh, set so the reset uh, pin is stronger than the trigger pin I should say as long as we are giving a low signal to the reset which we are now there's enough light it's going to reset now the lamp I'm using first off it's got some problems it's flickering at its highest setting at times so we may see that but I'm going to turn it down and now you can see that the low signal to the trigger uh, set the output high and uh, we have a high signal to the reset so it's not doing anything now I'm gonna put the lamp to my lowest setting you can see both LEDs are on now that is impossible one goes from the output there well if we had half the voltage at the output we could have them both on because one heads towards a positive rail the other heads towards the negative rail but that is very unlikely especially with how bright these LEDs are they're actually turning on and off separately so one's on the others off and then the other ones on well the first ones off and it's just going so rapidly that uh, they both look on like that and uh, that is because when you put this lamp at a medium setting it is also it's an LED lamp so it's turning on and off uh, rapidly so the photodiode is responding to that whereas if we put this to the positive rail the uh, reset button kicks in and it stays the uh, dominant right there so we can put that to negative probably had a little false triggering and uh, there we go so so the reset is the more dominant so we don't need to switch here as I said before and uh, we do for where it is right now 
because it bridges the gap so if I remove this I will have to move the uh, photodiode over and and this jumper so we will do that uh, right now you can see that it went uh, positive the output went positive and now I would have to I could take the uh, resistor here and go to uh, the negative rail right there actually I need to hold it positive so so let's set the uh, positive up here and then we can move the uh, jumper this jumper I had an extra one down there we can move that across there and now the output will uh, depend on the light falling on the uh, photodiode oh I gotta go up one more that's the problem there we go so again they're both on because the lamp is not at its highest setting now it is at its highest setting so it's responding to that so in any case play around with these circuits and uh, make observations and when you study uh, other circuits you're gonna see all of this come into play at some point and that will help you troubleshoot uh, other circuits more complex circuits you'll recognize behavior and you'll know what it is because you played around like this so in any case hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks for watching I will see you in the next one